Hi, welcome to this tutorial on expanding brackets. Now, what I've got here is one of the easier type of expansions you can be expected to get. But in this tutorial, I'm going to extend this to other expansions like this one, and this one, and this one. These are all various types of expansions that you're likely to get. So how do we expand two brackets that are together? Or in this example we've got three brackets. Well when you've got two sets of brackets being multiplied together you're going to have several terms in one bracket and several terms in another bracket. Like for instance in this example here you've got three terms in the first bracket and two terms in the second bracket. Now when you've got two brackets with lots of terms in, all you need to do is just have a system. Take the first term in the first bracket and what you do is you multiply it with each of the terms in the second bracket. So we'll do a times d, a times e and then a times f and you do a times each of the other terms that are left in the bracket. Once you've done that, you start all over again. But this time you move to the next term in the first bracket, in this case the b, and you multiply b with each of the terms in the second bracket. So you do b times d, b times e, b times f. And if there's another term, like in this one, c, in the first bracket, then what you do is you multiply each term then in from here in the second bracket. So you do C times D, C times E, C times F and so on. So hopefully you got the picture. So we'll go through these examples. Now I've picked each of these examples to illustrate different methods. Okay. Now in the first one, as I say, this is a very basic one that you're likely to get. So x plus 2 times x minus 3. What's it identical to? Well we take the first term x and we multiply it with the x and then the minus 3. So what we have is x times x is x squared. Then we do x times the minus 3 so that's going to be minus 3x. Notice I don't put any sign down until I've worked it out. So we've got plus 2 times x now, so it's plus 2x. Hold back from writing a sign in until you do plus 2 times now minus 3. Plus 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. Okay, so we've got four terms now. Two of those terms are x terms and we can simplify this further. So this becomes identical then to x squared group together minus 3x and plus 2x which is minus x and then we got the minus 6 and there you have it. Now in this example just extending this idea again we've got three terms in the first bracket two terms in the second bracket so what we've got to do is take the first term here x squared multiply it with each of the two terms in this bracket then move on to plus 3x times it with each of those two terms and then minus 2 times each of those two terms. So okay let's just do that now. So we've got x squared times 2x squared so that's going to be 2x to the power 4. Then we've got x squared times the minus 1 so that's minus x squared. We've done that now we move on to the second term plus 3x and multiply it with each of the two terms in this bracket. So we've got plus 3x times 2x squared which is going to be plus 6x cubed. So plus 6x cubed. Then we've got plus 3x times the minus 1 so that's going to be minus 3x. Now we've done that we move on to the third term here minus 2 and we now multiply minus 2 with each of the two terms in the bracket. So minus 2 times 2x squared is minus 4x squared and minus 2 times the minus 1 is plus 2 so we have plus 2. 
So we've now got one, two, three, four, five, six terms, and several of the terms are the same kind of terms. So we can simplify this. So this is identical to, we've only got 1x to the power 4 terms, so that's 2x to the power 4. But we've got a couple of x squared terms. We've got minus x squared minus another 4x squared, so that's minus 5x squared. And I missed out the cubic term, so I'll just put that in now. So we've got plus 6x cubed. Obviously, it doesn't matter which order you write them in, but uh, preferably it would have been a good idea to write the plus 6x cubed there and then follow it with the minus 5x squared. Now we've got the minus 3x, and then we've got the plus 2. So there you go. If they did ask you to expand this, though, in descending powers, then I'd have to take care over this step, OK? I would need to put 6x cubed and then the minus 5x squared. Let's just change that now, OK? So we've just got, in descending powers, it's going to be plus 6x cubed and minus 5x squared. There you go. Now, with this example, the reason I picked this is because I wanted to have a number out the front. Quite often you're going to get the number out the front of two brackets. And it's very common to see a particular mistake made in this kind of thing. What you don't want to do is times each of these brackets with that minus 2. What you need to do is just hold back with that number, minus 2, and then just multiply these two brackets out in the usual way. But we need to put a bracket here though. So multiplying these out in the usual way, and I, by the way I've changed it to A because obviously you're not just going to always have X's in brackets, you can have other letters. So I just thought well for a change we'll have some A's here. So we've got 3A times 4A, so that's going to be 12A squared. And 3A times minus 1, so that's minus 3A. And then minus 2 times 4a, minus 8a. And minus 2 times minus 1, that's going to be plus 2. Now what I would do here is simplify the bracket first of all. Because we've got two a terms here. So we've got 12a squared. And then we've got minus 3a minus 8a, so that's minus 11a. And then we've got the plus 2. And now we can expand this with the minus 2. Minus 2 times each of the three terms, OK, inside the bracket. So minus 2 times 12a squared is minus 24a squared. Minus 2 times minus 11a is plus 22a. And then minus 2 times plus 2 is minus 4. So there you have the expansion. Now with this last one, as you can see, what I've got is three brackets. Now, if you've got three brackets or more brackets, four, five brackets or whatever, start with expanding the last pair. So in this example, what we do is we just simply put 5x minus 2 and we expand the last pair. So in the usual way, this will be x times 2x, so that's going to be 2x squared. Then we have x times the 1, so that's plus 1x, or just simply x. Now we go on to do minus 2 times the 2x, so that's minus 4x. And then minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. Tidy up this last bracket, so we've got 5x minus 2 still, being multiplied by 2x squared. And then we've got plus x minus 4x, so that's minus 3x. And then we've got minus 2. Now all we need to do is to expand this set of brackets. So 5x times each of the terms here, and then minus 2 times each of the terms. So we have 5x times 2x squared, so that's going to be 10x cubed. 5x times minus 3x, so that's minus 15x squared. 5x times minus 2, going to be minus 10x. So that's done. Now we do minus 2 times each of the terms. So minus 2 times 2x squared, minus 4x squared. Minus 2 times minus 3x, plus 6x. And then 
minus 2 times minus 2 plus 4. Group up our, our terms and we've got finally 10x cubed. For squared terms we've got minus 15x squared minus 4x squared so that's minus 19x squared. As for x terms minus 10x plus 6x so that's going to be minus 4x and finally the constant plus 4. Okay, so hopefully you can model any of your examples on these kind of ideas. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this tutorial and I hope you found it of some help.